pants. Hey everyone, your friendly neighborhood pants is back with another siege video. We're uh, up against Imperial Kings and Serotonina. A um, couple G3 guilds were currently rank 24. I am pretty sure both of these guilds are top 20, so that's kind of exciting. It's not too often we're up against, you know, two really strong opponents. So uh, I like that, you know, it makes my, when I get wins, it tells me my offenses are pretty good. So, but at the same time, you also get completely wrecked because these guys are better than you. Um, unfortunately, I don't have too many targets except for this one here. So we're going to hit this, which is obviously nasty. Bigger Lulu and Kinky. If you have Kinky on defense, that's nasty. So can't Lucian it. So you got to figure out something else. Um, I could try out my brand Cocky Beta, which has proven to work well for me in the past, though I want to use Cocky in this case. I'd probably use uh, Fuki. And I think that seems okay. Almost certainly they have destroy runes. With uh, Lulu there, I wouldn't want to try bombing since she has double cleanse and immunity. It just seems bombing would not make any sense. I think the best way to beat it would be double rocks. If you happen to own Tracer, you can go Skogel Tracer. That's really good. In my case, I don't have that. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for Fuki. Is he in storage or is he out? I don't see him. Malite could potentially do pretty well here. But here's what I'm thinking. I'll have double immunity, lots of healing, and then damage from Fuki. And he's on destroy, so... It's basically going to be a long match where destroy does work. That's the goal. Because they don't have a ton of damage. Um, like, the damage comes from if a defense break gets through. But they have no strip, and I have double immunity, so... They really will have some trouble getting a defense breakthrough, I would think. Certainly, I would hope. <laughs> um, other than that, I think this is pretty solid. Elusia could potentially work if you keep Lulu asleep. That's uh, another thing. Otherwise, I think I would try some kind of Malite comp, but we'll, we'll try this first. This seems okay. Of course. This is <laughs> happens to me all the time. I take too long. And someone goes in, ooh, Ramagos. That's cool. On Vampire, missing an artifact. That's not good. Vampire broken. And then Conrad. That's really interesting. On double Nemesis Will. He has like a... Changes the HP ratio and creates a shield. Huh. That has some potential. It's kind of a neat defense, or offense, I should say. Other than this one, I guess I can hit 12 in half an hour, and then save for when these will inevitably fall. <laughs> Strong feeling we're last place? Yeah, I think so too. So that's okay. We have four sieges left in the season. So we have some slight chance at getting to the tourney. Two hundred four attacks a death total. I guess I can take a look at how my guild is doing. I haven't been paying attention. I have a another guildie filling out our Excel sheet with me, which has been helpful. Shout out to Schmitz. Appreciate you. We're at a 71% win rate so far. So not too bad. Certainly better than past G3s we've been up against. I mean, we had a 57% siege. And that's horrible. We had a 62%. That's pretty bad. Um, and then what was our next worst? 66%. That's pretty bad. So yeah, that 57, I think, was our worst siege. 
and then we've had a 62 and a 67. Those are pretty bad. So hopefully we stay over 70, and I contribute to that. Can get 9, 10, 1, something like that. Of course, always want 10, but don't always get 10. Definitely don't want to try Lucian. The very first kinky I ever hit, I brought Lucian into it, and that's just like immediate regret. Totally forgot you couldn't crit on him, and he just soloed, and then I felt really stupid. So we got Violent Will, so we're good. Now, I'm not sure who to target first. I think Vigor, but I don't know. I think either Vigor or Kinky. He does damage based on HP, so the destroy should be helpful there. I definitely need to be careful not to overuse my immunities. Like, I know in past times I've used this, I've put up Fran's attack buff, but in this case, I want to make sure my units have immunity at all times. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do skill three. Ooh, finally procced out. That's not good. Only good news is that he's water. Or he's wind, they're water, so. And then, of course, Kinky will target beta, so that's good. Um, I think we'll keep doing skill one. I don't think skill two has enough to kill. There we go. One proc wins it. So that was nice. <laughs> I shouldn't have any chance of losing at this point. Kinky would have to go pretty nuts. <clears throat> Excuse me. Kinkies in general don't have a ton of damage though. Ooh, double stun there. This should hit pretty hard. Goodness, was that four or five turns there? <laughs> Got everyone to full. Nice. Let's get our immunity back. We'll just keep working on Lulu. Um, I think I can go Kinky here while he doesn't have immunity. Um, we'll just skill one there. And get the attack buff going. I feel like I'll hit decently hard. I'll, I'll do the kinky. 6,000 a pop. No revenge, that's nice. Oof. That's a bad proc. Let's, um... Let's buff Beta's attack bar. Ouch. I think Fran's skill 2 is ready, though. Yeah, so that's good. And some more immunity. So this should just take a while, but I think I got it. Maybe we can do an attack break. Nice. Um, I think I'll save it and just do skill one here. <laughs> we'll do skill one here now. And let's buff Fran attack bar. Slowly but surely. Decrease your attack bar, maybe? Nice. Still goes before Fuki, though, unfortunately. Unless I proc here. Nice. Well, even if I buff here, he won't do much damage, but it's something. There was potential for Violent Proc into skill 2 and just win it right there, but Lulu's going to keep stalling. Unfortunately, Fuki's going to deal less and less damage as that destroy goes on. Hopefully, I can take advantage of this defense break. Let's keep decreasing attack bar. Nice. 
Oof. That's okay. Got a nice proc there. Well, this continues to be like my most consistently amazing four star offense. Fran Beta with an Omni Musha. More often than not, I use Kaki, but in this case, certainly wanted to go with Fuki. All right, so it looks like in 20 minutes, I can hit 12. Um, other than that, I don't think there's any good target. Yeah, I definitely don't want to hit that. What's... Oh, goodness. Well, I don't know if we have... Yeah, we don't have much attack, so... Kind of bad that we went and trimmed those. But it's all good. Off to do some RTA for 20 minutes. Probably get four or five matches in. I did do some climbing... Uh, few days ago. I was hovering around 1500, but I got up to 1556. First pick Mo Long. I think I'll go Cheonpung for sure. Um... See, I want to go Diana and I want to go Sierra, but I don't like going double wind early. And I don't like, well, I just don't like going double wind early. And I especially don't like going Diana early. We'll go Nana. Nana's great into Molong. I find that I've been doing better picking Nana later on rather than early on. So I kind of was hesitant to pick Nana. Um, certainly as a first pick, Mystery Hunt, he just made a video recently where he's... He's been doing like weekly RTA updates. So we got Diana Lulu. Um, I think Joe Gun Cocky is okay. Yeah, he's been looking at his stats and, you know, going more try hard RTA than me, of course. He's like, knows his units' win rates and all that kind of thing and what he's been good and bad against all season. And. At least he's found that he's done better whenever he picks Nana later on rather than as a first pick or early in the draft. I mean, she is certainly an OP unit in the current meta, but she is completely weak to crowd control, and a lot of people play crowd control. Um, maybe I go Oki and ban Lulu. That makes some sense. I kind of like that. Let's go attack. So I don't have a ton of damage here, but I mean, if I land defense breaks and Oki does skill three, it should hurt pretty hard, especially if Jogun's got an attack buff going. Um, Let's go ahead and strip. We can give Diana the turn, that's fine. She gets out of her immunity this way, puts up the shield. All right, maybe get some glancing and defense breaks. Nice. And let's go for some stuns, especially on Syrah. Okay. Let's go on to the Molong, I think. Um, they're already defense broken, so I'll just do skill one on Diana. Good stun. All right, let's make Tessarion go away. And then we'll work on Syrah, because she's scary, and Chianpeng has skill three to decrease Diana's attack bar anyways. And this time we'll switch to Diana. Maybe get some stuns here. Nope. Um, let's just save it. That's a rough proc. There's the bomb. I do have two stacks on Nana though. Tessarion is still scary. 
need to keep him stunned. Which tells me I think I should keep my skill 3, just do skill 2 on Sierra. Mm, maybe I can stun Tessarion? Nope. If I proc here, I think I win. Okay. Not quite. Nice resist. Crap. <laughs> Rough violent. Alright. That's a dead Sierra, but no stack from Nana. Alright. Now no Tessarion. Yeah, GG. What are we saying here? Let's see. Yeah, I think the only other target is 12. Look at Tofu being a bro. Caring about the guild more than the crystals. If I could type a heart emoji, I would. I guess I can do the less than sign and three or whatever. <laughs> well, maybe I should just change name to RTA for now. Oh, what's up, Kai? Hey, name is Dread. What's up, Nelson? <laughs> you still playing some balloons, Nelson? I'm going to change name to just RTA for now. Boom. Boom, boom. What's up, Tofu? You're playing balloons every day. You're good, Kai. I thought you were taking a break, Kai. First pick, Oki. We'll go Chunpung and Sierra. Oh, I guess I did double wind. I could have gone Chunpung and more, maybe. That would have been better. So Savannah tells me I'll pick Leo. I mean, even if you're in Siege, Kai, if you want to take a break, that's... I mean, no one's going to give you crap for that. Lure. Not every day you see Lure in RTA. I think I'll still go Leo Verd. Though, I don't know... I don't know what I'm doing. All I did was counter Savannah. The Bay. Ronald Swanson would like to see the bay. <laughs> and cocky. Okay, so this is a like non-traditional cleave. Um maybe I go Nana. I did that last season, felt like shit because we didn't make turning. Well, we didn't make turning because we're not good enough for turning. <laughs> That's not on you. Um, I feel like Nana's not going to do enough, but we'll try it. So, maybe I ban the... I don't know. Maybe <laughs> I would want to ban all of them, except for Savannah. He can have Savannah. Everything else sucks, though. He's going to beat the crap out of me. Like, here he does so much damage, I just die. Here he stuns me. 
Maybe I just risked not getting stunned. All on Will, that's unfortunate. <laughs> kind of squishy on the Savannah. I bet he's just all attack. Nice revenge. Yikes. <laughs> he might kill through Will. I don't even think he... He's worried about any of that. He's going to kill everything. Yeah, super dead. All right, AoE stun, AoE defense break. Here we go. Boom. Nope, no stuns. <laughs> GG. Yeah, I got completely outdrafted there. I did not see Cleave coming at all. With first pick Oki, I thought he was just doing some kind of cleave. And then the lure. The lure Savannah should have told me he was going cleave. And I should have just gone like Nana, Diana. Leo didn't really do anything. He stole my first pick. I don't even know what to do when people steal my first pick. <laughs> Nelson, Sabrina and I almost hit up your, your family's restaurant. Like on... Uh, or this morning. Yeah, November 1st. Mm -hmm. My days are all mixed up. On Halloween, we stayed up pretty late. Let's go to... Let's just do Sierra Oki. Let's see what he picks into that. Up against Coca-Cola. <laughs> Established 1901, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Chiwu Bastet. So is this another non-traditional cleave? Um, I can go more, and then what? <laughs> then I don't know. Ayunu? I can keep Ayunu in mind. Let's just go Nana. Just keep abusing her. They do go hard. We were craving breakfast tacos. We were up at like, see, we went, we went to bed at like 2.30 and then our friends were drunk and seeing karaoke and they woke us up at like 6.30. And so we tried to go back to bed, but we were like, nah, let's just go home. So on the way home, we are thinking, stopping and get breakfast tacos, but we're like, nah, we should just go to bed. Let's do Vanessa. Maybe Vanessa ban Chenpeng. Either Chenpeng or Savannah. I feel like Chenpeng's scary. Yeah, Verd would be good here too with all the AoE. What's your strat for dealing with Chenpeng? Uh, I just kind of cry and hope for the best. I have no strats. <laughs> If Tofu's in chat, ask him for all of the RTA advice. Because I I feel so... You know, like, there's the, the pathos, ethos, and logos, or whatever. And logos is the logic, and pathos is the emotion, and ethos is your, like, credibility. I feel like I have no ethos, no credibility whatsoever in <laughs> trying to persuade people of anything. When it comes to RTA, anyways. I'm just so bad at RTA. Always have been. bring fire i'm sure he, it's i'm sure tofu brings carnal i would bring carnal every match if i had him dude is nasty well he used a skill three so no cleanse hopefully i get the stun here very nice let's just do defense break on her 
Carnal, Triple Revenge Bird. That wasn't too bad for a Bastet skill, too. This will probably hurt, though. I'm just glad nothing landed on Sierra, at least. <laughs> Try to tell him. Yeah, you were right. Bird would be great here. Dang, Nana, double stun. That's awesome. I mean, this is still winnable, I think. I think we're doing okay. Yeah. Vanessa and Nana is pretty strong into Cleaves, too. First pick cocky should be a cleave. Should I go Vanessa Nana early? Or would that make him like pivot right away? I think I'll just do that. He's still going for cleave. Ooh, Bernard, that's cool. Um Well, I could do a last pick Cyan, potentially. Kind of do like Ayunu here, even though it's still early. And then what else? Triana, maybe? Probably shouldn't be going double wind into Kaki. He's probably going single target Odin. He's got Rocky. Rocky Racky. Oh, I, I still really like Cyan. I think I'll ban Rocky. He's going to hit hard, but I have so much revive, I think it'll be fine. I hope it'll be fine. Yeah, Triana, Vanessa, Nana is incredibly toxic. No doubt about it. Ayuno and Cyan together, too. It was All five of them were revive people. And he has nothing to, like, reset skills or anything. Maybe Bernard's squishy, too? Nope. Unfortunate that Ayunu killing on their turn doesn't, uh... Give Nana stacks. I mean, I guess that would be kind of busted. I shouldn't say unfortunate. But that would be really nice. <laughs> I can for sure still lose this. Let's go bombs. Only two of the three. Bernard's going to hit hard. Yeah. Ouch. GG. <laughs> well, outplayed there. Kaki probably squishy. Yeah, I'm sure he was just full damage. I don't think Ayunu was the best bet there. Honestly, Cyan wasn't too great. Maybe Ayunu was okay, but Cyan wasn't too great. Because Ayunu did at least kill the Light Chun Li right away. And dealt some damage on someone immediately after. But Cyan didn't do anything. He was able to kill me before any bombs went off. So let's go Chen Peng and Oki. So what would be a better last pick? Maybe Eladriel? <laughs> I feel like Eladriel wouldn't do enough either. 
I mean, maybe he would like potentially bring everyone back, and then all their skills wouldn't be on cooldown. Sierra Bird Lulu. Um, let's go Geo Gun and more. Yeah, Diana would be okay. That's for sure. Speaking of, we got Leo and Diana. Well, he's very wind heavy. I feel like I can go in Terra's and ban Sierra, maybe. Then I'm giving him Lulu, which is kind of annoying. I think that's okay, though. Hopefully I can make Lulu go away with Joe Gun. Um, so speed doesn't matter, so let's just go attack, I think. You think Bird was the ban? Well, shows what I know. <laughs> You can make Verd. Oh well, no, I gotta make Leo go away. Otherwise, Verd comes like right back. Um, we can. No, I don't want to save the ship. I want to use the ship. Hopefully, Chen Peng goes before Lulu. Nope, never mind. Lulu definitely goes first. <laughs> Leo Verd is so much cycling. Yeah, this is true. Goodness, Diana hits hard, or my Chen Peng is unruined. That was an interesting decision. Hopefully no stun. Nice. All right, let's hopefully get no revenge from Verd. Nice. Again, no revenge from Verd, please. Good stun. All right, Liso's glancing. Get some fat damage going. All right, dead Verd. Lulu, no heals. Sweet. Work on Diana. I think this is a dead Diana. Nice. Great proc. Hopefully we can finish off the Lulu before she moves. It's done. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Aw, poo. Um, let's let's do skill two on Lulu. Heck yeah. Make Leo go away again. Nope, not this time. I think that's a dead Lulu for sure. Leo can still potentially solo, but it'll be challenging and double fire. I feel like this guy's autoing. <laughs> he was using his skills pretty quickly. What's up, Spoon? Wonder why your stream last week got dislike bombed. That's because uh, it was a 2v1 siege and no one likes 2v1s. I mean, that's that's basically it. <laughs> I even, like, someone commented and I replied about it. 2v1 suck. There's no doubt about it. And then my other previous stream also went down. Like, in the middle of it, my computer just froze, which is unfortunate. I think what it was is my driver wasn't up to date. My graphics card driver. Um, I just got the up-to-date one today. Also, I had some Windows updates, so that that's the only thing I could think could have caused it. Let's go Chun Fung for sure into this and Nana. I think that's pretty good into Molong. Yeah, I mean they were they didn't like getting two v one. No one does though. So it's understandable. Um Chloe Diana. Hmm. Well I definitely want another stripper. And how do I deal with Diana? Maybe I go cocky, Joe Gun cocky. And I can last pick like a support like Lulu or something. Might be Nemesis Chloe. Yeah. Yeah, that makes some sense. Double Nemesis Will or something. 
Fang and Juno. Gross. <laughs> if I la do a Lulu here, I think he just bans Cocky and immediately wins. So that's not good. Can I go like Bird? Bird can deal some damage on a defense break and give me turns. I don't know. Antares over Cocky for Diana. Yeah, I mean, Antares is great into Diana also. I just really like my Cocky into Molong because I have a whole lot of water damage reduction on him. I don't think I have any on my Antares, or if I do, it's not much. Minus 14, it's okay. But I have like minus 22 on Cocky. So often people use their skill 3 Molong into my Cocky and, you know, think they have enough to kill and then they don't. Who did we pull in Siege? We got Imperial Kings and uh, what's a Serotonina, something like that. Serotonin, but in Spanish. Yikes. That did not do much. What's up, Coco? And yeah, we're, we're going to almost certainly get third. Oh, that's a dead Qianfeng. He did not kill the Qianfeng. He's giving me another shot. Um, let's just deal the damage. <laughs> Why not? Ouch. Maybe my cocky is able to kill Diana here. Nice. Get another Nana stack this way. Some more defense breaks. Maybe stun Mo Long. Nope. Let's keep working on Mo, I think. That's a rough revenge. I think I have to use skill one. I want my cocky to move before Fang. All right, hopefully this is enough to kill. Nice, another Nana stack. Man, Nana's so stupid. What a dumb unit. <laughs> I love it. What's up, Cade? I don't think Cade's ever come to one of my live streams. She hates me. <laughs> no, I know you don't hate me. I'm just kidding. But you did wake me up early. Really, it was Greg. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> when I came out of the room, I couldn't find you, but I could hear you. You were like super high pitch, and I it sounded like you were in Jack's cage. My glasses weren't on, though, so I couldn't see anything. That was Patricia last night. <laughs> Man, when Fighting Gold came on, they were so loud. I was like, I don't know if I ever like reached REM sleep or whatever. I was able to fall asleep originally, but when that song came on, y'all were just, y'all were popping off. And then Sabrina, she was like wanting to sing along so she couldn't sleep. <laughs> Is that what was going on? That's funny. Nana getting nerfed for sure. Yeah, I think so. Riley might get nerfed too. People have been talking so much about her. I think Oki's good here. I think Verd is the ban. Goodness, this is so nasty. 
Bird, Diana, Helena, and Teres. Rico, would, oh yeah, Rico would be good here too. This is true. Though with Rika, they could potentially just like throw up a shield. Either one of the ponies could throw up a shield and the dots wouldn't do much. Well, he's going early. I might cut in between them. Nope. All right, so let's maybe glancing people. That did absolutely nothing. <laughs> You think Riley is fine? I don't know. I don't have personal experience yet. Oh, that's that's rough. That is rough. Did not like that missed bomb at all. Well, I think that's GG. I don't think I come back from that. <laughs> that's a nasty team. I don't think it's a particularly good team. I feel like it loses to a lot of different things, but I didn't play right or draft right anyways. Um, that's all garbage. I'm going to take a look at Siege real quick. Well, they're definitely digging into us. Kings is going deep into them. Could we potentially go second if like, we finish off four and five? That would isolate these three. We're neck and neck at the moment. What are people saying? Do you have Spoon? Or do we have Spoon? Do you have Tion? It would isolate all the yellow five bases in one go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they're in the bonus now. And if we did these two, it would isolate all of that. I don't know if that is good enough to get us into second or not, but it doesn't seem like a horrible idea. So we want to do. What is this? Molong Betafuki. So that's Illusion. Seer Clara Theo. I don't think I've ever hit one of these before, so I'm not sure what to bring into that. Yeah, let's slow him down. All right, I'm down. I'll go move runes real quick. So we got Mirren that needs runes. No, already ruined. Look at that. Tion, nice. Don't even need to move runes. That means my Clara has no runes on it. <laughs> Not this one. This one. Well, we'll find out how much wind reduction they have on them. Is this the right Lucian? Nope. We want this Lucian. Let's go for it. You guys having a bad siege? I've never heard of them. No, these guys are both good. I, I think they're both... Uh, I think Saratoina or whatever was in the tournament last season. I'm not sure if Imperial Kings was, but both of them are G3 guilds for sure. They had like no wind damage reduction. Like none. My Lucian hits for like 20k and I was hitting for 19 there. So that was an easy one. Sierra Clara Theo, I'm not sure what to use against. Um, Theo makes things weird because I don't know who he targets. Big PP amps. <laughs> yeah, Fat Lucian. Fat Lucian's so good. I really want a third. I don't know if I have like a third way to even use Lucian. 
like Mirren for sure. Ever since I pulled her, I've used Lucian once every siege because why not? It just makes Lucian stupid. Um, for Gate, since I pulled him, I have been using Lucian a second time every once in a while. But I don't know what a third good setup would be. Like if I had Jamire, that'd be really good. But I don't have Jamire, so. Leo. Into this, you like Leo? What is it like a Gene Leo plus one kind of thing? Um, where is he at? There he is. Oh, wait, never mind. I recognize the Sarah name now that I saw the picture. Yeah, Sarah Toina. I, I think they're someone said they they were Brazilian or something or Portuguese or yeah, they speak Portuguese from Brazil. <laughs> That's how it works. But yeah, they're they've consistently been really strong. Gene to Sarion and Leo. So let's see, who does Sierra target? Sierra targets either Gene or Leo, but both should be. He's almost at 100 res. And she is at 100 res. No idea what Theo does, though. If you attack Claire, it messes up her AI and cucks Theo's damage. Okay. This is true. Her, uh, She won't necessarily use skill 3 if she's not at max HP. I don't think about that very often. I was actually surprised the first time I found that out because I thought her AI was just perfect no matter what, but that is true. If she is hurt, she won't do that. All right, I'm down to try this. I think as long as my gene gets a turn to land some provokes, I win, assuming people are actually alive still. Nice. So we'll see what Sierra does. I think I work on Theo. That hurt. That did not feel good. Let's uh, let's go on Sierra. Ouch. Well, that's a dead Theo or a dead Leo, I should say. Oh, never mind. Nice proc. <laughs> so that, that's a dead Sierra. Or if I land Oblivion here. No, I think I should either way kill the Sierra. The Sierra's going nuts. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, now it's a dead Leo for sure. Unless I proc back into invincibility again. Nope. Alright. I think I still got this. Just need to not glance every hit with Theo, or with Tessa. Man, I'm getting my efforts confused. <laughs> nice. All right, yeah, we got it. Speed lead wasn't helpful. Oh, you changed it a little. Never mind. Hey, that was all titty over here. <laughs> Benny didn't do anything except get lucky. His team idea. Well, that definitely stalls him for a bit. So this can help us get to uh, hopefully second. I feel like we should save in case they isolate here, especially if we're going for second. Is this yellow or red? It's red. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Yellow tail still makes some sense. These are chillings, right? Carcano chilling, Triana. What are you using, Coco? Oh, that's cool. Water twins and Sen. I guess typically it's like Water Twins and Chloe, but you don't want to bring Chloe into chilling. I'm not sure what I've used against this historically. I mean, I know I've Lucianed them, but I don't know what else I've used. Let's see. Um, boom. Yeah, the only offense I've used against this so far is Lucian.
Like your fourth or fifth attempt? Oh, just fourth or fifth of this tower, you mean? Yeah. Man, they're far out here. Both of these guilds are. Well, we're in an okay shape. Yeah. Do I have a Helena built? I do have a Helena built. I use Helena against Sierra Clara and Kaki, which I almost never see anymore. <laughs> I think RA is the only guild that still seems to run it. Yeah, I think it's run a lot more in Europe than it is here. I don't know why that is, but I think the only guild that I saw run this was uh, Zenial's guild. Zenial like to run weird kind of things. There's a Lucian. Um, I can show you my Helena real quick. I might be missing a rune, though. Like, I have a rune specifically with a team. So my Rika's here. Violent Will, plus 107 speed. So I just make her faster than Rika. Um, where is she at? There she is. So I guess I'm actually slower than Rika at the moment. I've moved runes around, but she should be faster than my Rika. Because the team is Rika, Helena, and then a wind tank. Though, maybe I need to find a new use because I don't see the offense very much anymore. And ideally, 100 crit rate would be better. But since I'm running Rika's leader skill, it doesn't matter. So that's why I'm running lower crit rate on more crit damage. <laughs> I'm down to hit one of these. Spoon was successful with Illusion. Itamikyo. Vigor and Suki and Wendy. Um, item, by the way, same name. He started a YouTube channel if y'all haven't seen that. Um, other than Lucian, what could I use? The only defense break is Karkano. Maybe I could do a tractor team. Not that tractor. <laughs> Elusia. Do like tractor. Lulu. I don't know if I want to go Talc. How did Prosper do? Um, let's see. Seven and three, not too shabby. He's uh he's improving since he first got here. I know he had a a couple rough sieges when he first joined up again. But seven and three against two very respectable guilds. That's solid. Either Tracty, tra Tracty, Tractor, Wendy, Lulu, or Vigor, Wendy, Lulu, super safe. Yeah. Um, which Wendy do I have ruined? I think all three of them are ruined. Double Revenge, Tolerance. I think I'd want one of the uh, Destroy ones. Or a Destroy one. I think I only have one on Destroy. That one, probably. And it's missing a rune. Okay, I have two on Destroy. Let's go for it. We love Tracty. I do love Tracty. Tracty OP. We'll just slowly but surely work on this guy. Um, I feel like I shouldn't even use the skill 2 for buffs because chilling gets more buffs and then can hit harder. Um, I'm going to just kill one. I guess if he already has these buffs, then it doesn't matter.
And one more hit ought to do it. One down, two to go. I'm sure Triana is just going to make this last forever. What do you think is that hardest stack to face? What do you mean hardest stack? Certainly a crit damage, Triana, because it seems pretty squishy. I know it's hitting my tractor pretty hard. Which means I probably could have Lucianed it with Forgate. But this offense didn't require any moving of runes, which is nice. Like for defenses, which do you want has the least count? Oh, okay. Um, In the current meta, which defense has the least counters? That's a good question. I mean, people are running Mo Long, Fuki, and Molly a lot. That one's annoying, but it certainly has counters. I think uh, the one that it's technically meta, but you don't see much of it because not a lot of people have it is Kinky and Lala with uh, one more. And it, we're running Mi Yang, Kinky, Lala. And it's just so nasty. Like, you can't Lucian it. Certainly, Double Rock is okay. Like, if you have Skogel Tracer, but not a lot of people have Skogel Tracer. But I think Skogel Tracer Harmonia is probably the safest means of doing it. Um, I think my Fran, Omni Musha, and Beta team, like Fran, Fuki, Beta, would probably be really good against it. But other than that, it's like... Such a nasty team. You can see people running Karkana Lulu instead of uh, Miyang Lala. Um, this guy running Chloe. I think Lala is actually really, really good. But again, I don't know how to use Lala if you don't happen to own Kinky. Like, Kinky just makes, makes it hard. The fact that you can't crit him and that he's going to revenge you and he's just going to hit hard no matter what. Kinky's insane. Well, it looks like yellow probably is going to take here and then maybe try and get to our HQ. Is Lala the second best howl? For sure. Yeah. Wind one is... Well, I say that. Shushu is also really good. The light one. Um... As far as siege defenses, I think Lala is actually better than Lulu. Um, as far as RTA goes, Lulu's the best, and then probably Shushu. I don't think I've ever seen Lala get used in RTA. Not saying she hasn't been used, she probably could. Hmm. I think we'll go like this. <laughs> Lots of birds out tonight. Maybe I go... Annabelle and Oki. I feel like both of them are strong against Carnal. Good night, Mediocre. Thanks for coming out. Mayho Wang's not too scary. Yeah, he already is second guessing that. 
with uh, more there. I don't think Mayhill Wang is super scary. Annabelle too. Well, that's just nasty. I don't like that. Bring back the Mayhill Wang. <laughs> Molly Mo Long. Oh, that's gross. Molly Mo Long Lulu. Maybe I go Diana and ban Molly. Since I have decent counters against the Carnal already. Good night, Coco. Let's just go for it. Maybe get some stuns. I think I use it on Molong. Or maybe I, I think I use it on Lulu. Nice. And then I can actually stun people. I don't think I need to use it on Carnal because I have Annabelle. Stun? No stun. Um, I can do this. What's up, Greg? Let's get some defense breaks going. Only on the fire monsters, so Diana doesn't get to do Diana things. Maybe, let's just work on Verd while he's stunned. That hurt, jeez. Aw, oh, rough proc. Uh, maybe sleep? Nope. And stun? <laughs> no stun. And here comes immunity. Yeah. Aww. Aww. <laughs> GG. Right, I'm gonna grab a glass of water real quick. I think I'll join Tofu and save the rest of my tax for tomorrow, unless they do isolate us at our HQ, in which case I'll, I'll hit that. But let's see. I think Juno makes sense here. And then what? Maybe bring out Annabelle again? I'll probably stream for another hour, and then it'll be midnight for me. And then I got to do uh, my 10th edit for Sean B. It'll be video number 10 for me. Well, that's gross. I was thinking Antares, but not into Chow. I think Sierra's okay. Maybe go Sierra and Nana. I mean, that's not great into Diana, though. I don't know. We'll see. I think that's the first time I'm playing against a Riley. Last three days, attempted to play and had to wait for like 20 minutes. That's nasty. Yeah, anytime Zane and I have tried to do 2v2 on stream, it seems like it takes forever to join. I guess not a lot of people are doing it. It's probably, like, hard to find a partner that wants to do it with you, I guess. I think I ban Diana. I think. You always use Riley? Yeah, I'm I'm working up to building her. I have, uh, I'm probably going to just use all mighty pieces to summon Verd. Verd is the last piece of the puzzle I'm missing. And I have 30 pieces for him. And I've been refreshing Guild Shop, but it's uh, 
It's just gonna take a while and I can just use all mighty pieces and get it over with. Though I won't have any devils for her. Lately it's even worse. That's too bad. Yeah, I did buy the ones in Guild Shop. That got me over the 25, so I can actually use Almighty Pieces, because you need at least 25 to even do it. Um, let's just do the stun again. I don't know. Rip. All right. Maybe stun Lulu? Okay, that's good. That's a rough proc. At least my Annabelle is ready to cleanse. I think I for sure lose this. He just outsustains me. I'll just skill one here. Probably a hundred res on this Riley. Actually, I should work on Lulu. She's already lower. Um, I'll just skill one Lulu. <laughs> no point using skill three while the immunity's up. Let's just hit you. Maybe stun? No stun. Decrease attack bar? Yeah. Pretty sure the bomb just, oh, the bomb just gets resisted. <laughs> I was going to say the bomb just gets cleansed. And my Sierra's putting in work. Nice stun on the Carnal. He gets to wake right up, though. Yeah. All right, let's get some defense breaks, hopefully. Some slow. Man, that Riley's got some serious resistance. That's a rough provoke. Been getting really lucky with Sierra stuns, though. Let's uh, skill one here. Strip and proc into skill three. No, won't be that nice. Heck yeah. Hopefully this is a dead chow. Oh, sadness. All right, little heal. <laughs> Man, missing, I think I've missed two bombs now. Maybe even three. Oof. Ouch. Yeah, GG. <laughs> Man, I would love to have a Chow or a Laika. They're both so good. I mean, situationally good. It's not like they're S tier or anything, but they're just, they're solid. Food night. Playing against L. Wonder if he's sitting like L.
No, he's taking his time. <laughs> Nana Diana. So you want to go heavy CC. We go Oki. And uh, maybe Antares is good. Probably shouldn't have gone double fire. Though I don't want to pick more into Diana. Oh, Gany would be good. We'll see what immunity he brings up. Maybe we'll see a Wusa. No? Okay. Well, I, I do like Gany. Maybe I go Sira. Um, is my Poseidon ruined? Nope. I think Geo Gun. Geo Gun just can make people go away, and I like that. <laughs> I love his skill too. Who am I most afraid of here? Maybe Annabelle because of the cleanse? Who is he banning? Maybe Antares. Antares or Gany. Man, I have no idea. We'll just do Anvil, see what happens. Probably should have banned one of these three. So he did ban Antares. Yeah, I probably should have gone under the assumption that he was banning Antares, so I would have Gany to control the Anvil. And so I would just ban one of the three toxic units. Something like that. No verd. That's dangerous if I cut. Let's uh let's leave her stunned. Just go on Nana. Uh yeah, this is fine. One down. We'll do, I think we'll give it to, let's give it to Oki. I want to give it to Chien Peng, but I think he's more likely to get killed. <laughs> like a few procs out of his uh, stun there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there was like some smidgen of a chance that Chien Peng died, so... I'm glad I went on Oki instead. All right, stuns. Nice. Let's finish off Kinky. Nice. Yeah, GG. See, that's why you don't want to pick Nana too early. It's like CC heavy teams. She can't really do anything against it. Maybe if you brought like double immunity along or something, but the Annabelle wasn't enough. 11 11, make a wish.
I don't know what to pick into Geo Gun. Maybe I go Leo Bird. It's too early to go Leo Bird. <laughs> I wonder if this is the same guy I played in the first match. Picking Lure. Um, I think I can go Nana. Nana Diana. Ban the cocky. Yeah, Thabe. This has to be the same guy. Nana Cyan. Yeah, Cyan would be good too, though. Well, one of these matches I brought Cyan to, I, uh, he ended up not doing anything. Like, he, he was able to cleave me before any bombs went off. I don't know if it was this guy or the guy after him. But I lost to this guy <laughs> the first time I played him, so would not surprise me if I lose to him again. Unless there's, like, another person playing this team. Let's just hit you. Um, should I put shield up? Yeah, why not? Hopefully glancing. Only one glancing. Pretty mediocre. Nice resist. Aw. Sadness. Oh, I lived. Oh, that's good. Um, maybe stun the bay. Nice. Not quite enough damage. That's really unfortunate. All right. Think I keep going on the bay. Probably still lose this. Maybe stun lure. Nice. <laughs> Damn. If Chen Pung got skill three off, I'd be in a much better space or spot, I should say. As long as you get your bombs off, yeah. Yeah, the Cyan team I brought, like, he landed two of the three bombs of the monsters there. But it just, like, wasn't enough because he killed me before then. Like, I had, he had already killed Cyan, so he got his invincibility. And then he did his bombs. And then that was, like, the end of it. <laughs> they just killed him immediately after. Yeah, this guy's Joe Gun did hit hard. If my Chen Pung lived and got a skill three off, it'd be a pretty different scenario. But I think I lose this. Like, Geo Gun can't do anything here. Should have tried to reduce Geo Gun instead of hitting Lure twice. I mean, yeah, probably so. But I don't think it'd be enough regardless. Like, it was just. I think I was outplayed. Uh, we can keep this one. What's up, guys? I don't think I mind picking Diana early in this case, Molong Wusa.
Let's go Lulu. I should probably bring another stripper. Maybe Juno would do okay. I don't really like Oki. I think this is okay. Praha? Yeah, Praha would be good here too. I don't know if my Praha's ruined. She's probably sitting in storage. Oh, I forget I have this girl too. Though I don't know how to use her in RTA. <laughs> I don't think she's as good as Riley because no cleanse. Mephisto. Hmm. So he cares so little about Nana. I think I banned Verd. Yeah, Chenpeng was a good ban. Well, hopefully my Diana can do Diana things. I want to kill the Mephisto right away. I'm glad I have Lulu for immunity in this case. Bulwark maybe had a chance. Yeah, this is true. Whenever he picked Molong Wusa, I could have done uh, Ilea and Bulwark. Though I would need someone to pair with him. I mean, Diana would still be a good, like okay with him, but... Anyways, seems like a tanky one. Uh, maybe stun? No stun. Let's put up immunity. Is he going to use skill 3? Nah. Now use the skill three. Um, I think I need to shield. I don't want to shield, but I think I need to. Let's work on Molong. Let's just keep working on Mo. Oof. It's a nice stun. Um, that's a very dead Diana, though. And then I'm in a 3v3. I don't think I can win. Stuns, defense breaks. It's a stun. All right, Juno, <laughs> land your dots. Poor favor. Okay, we got one. Nice. That 8k seemed weak. I feel like Wusa's hit a lot harder than that usually. Or since the buff anyways. Stuns? No stuns. One defense break, but not on the right guy. So close. Nice revenge. I think I have skill two. Please land. Maybe stun Tessa while you're at it. Nope. Got two of the three. Well, 
Well, I think I got a pretty good shot with Mephisto dead and Nana on the field. There's a good stun. Let's just keep working on Musa. Ouch. Oh, that's a bad defense break. Lulu's still OP. Yeah, no kidding. 40 up, 40 down. Come on, Juno. <laughs> Uh, attack break on Tessa. Nice. GG's. I think he could have kept playing that. I mean, it was probably in my favor, but I would keep playing it. Um, Xian Peng, where are you at? There he is. Yeah, if he, um, like anytime Tessa does a skill two defense break into skill one, very likely you're going to have someone dead. I don't think it's as devastating as like a Xian Peng skill two into skill three, but it's still pretty rough. Nana Juno. Well, I guess if you're going to do first pick Nana, picking it with Juno is pretty solid. Like going anti-CC right out of the gate. Let's do Oki, Geogun. We'll still go CC. And we'll just try and make the Juno go away. Okay. No Verd. Picks Leo with no Verd? Well, I will pick the Verd. That is fine. Maybe I can pick Cocky too. Just go Fire Heavy. It's kind of dangerous, but I don't mind it. Because I can just ban last pick. And Terra's. Yeah, I think I ban in Terra's. If I had to guess, he's banning Geo Gun. No, he banned the Cocky. So I guess I have less damage this way, but I mean, I still have defense break and attack buff and skill three from Oki. Should be hitting pretty hard. My Verd, unfortunately, sucks. He won't do much damage. I mean, he'll hit okay with the defense break, but just the way I have him built on, like, defense, defense, defense or something, it's pretty meh. Let's just go ahead and... Well, no, we'll save it. We'll just do skill one. Well, I guess I should have used it. We'll skill one again. I was thinking Juno would go right after Geogun and strip my attack buff right away. And I didn't like that. Well, she used it anyways, so now I can use it unhindered. Or without fear. Aw, the stun and Oki hurt. 
All right, we'll make Leo go away. No, he won't. <laughs> um, I guess we'll just do skill three for now. Hopefully no revenge. Nice. I guess we can do skill two then. Wow, look at that. Landed everything on everyone. That's incredible. Don't see that every day. I mean, I guess didn't land... Well, no, my thing's not on despair. I was going to say didn't land stuns, but not on despair. <laughs> All right, let's get damage going. Man, that was not a lot of damage on Meho Wang. I think I'll hit him while he's defense broken and glanced. Alright, hopefully I can kill Meho Wang before he kills my Chun Pung. That's the current goal. I think I need to hit Leo. Nice. Okay. That's to be expected. <laughs> I think I lose this now. Without a defense break, this will be rough. Make Leo go away this time? Yeah. That was a nice crit and a nice proc. Um, I guess I should have done skill one with Geogun onto Nana. Yeah, that'd probably be a dead Nana if I... I don't know why I skilled one on Juno. That was dumb. Alright, Geogun. Live for me. <laughs> Need you to live. Hopefully we can kill Juno. No revenge. Very nice. Don't kill. Damn it. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll just go ahead and skill. Well, no, I think we'll save skill three. Let's just do skill one. Nice, no stun on Juno. Okay. Um, I think I need a skill two on Leo. Nice. All right, finish off the Juno. Okay. <laughs> Nana's almost certainly gonna kill Oki. If she doesn't though, then I have skill three for stun. Damn. <laughs> Alright, Verd. Land your crits. And your avenges. Let's just skill one for heal. Nice. Very nice. Okay, sweet. I have a less than 50, it's like a 40% chance to land a crit, since it's 50-50 for glance. Well, I guess I would just make it 50-50, because it's a 100 crit rate, so it's exactly 50-50, I think. Oh, wait, no, because you get minus 15 for water, water fire or whatever, but I got it. Yeah. So it'd be 42.5% chance to crit. Well, that was nice. <laughs>
That was a close one. That should get me closer to that achievement for win with mon one monster or whatever. You can scroll trap the Leo to stop the Nana. To stop. Oh, scroll trap the Nana. Yeah, so the reason I was scroll trapping Leo, though, is because if I were to scroll trap someone else, Leo's passive makes Geogun basically... The, the scroll doesn't last very long. So, like, I would only get one or two turns before whoever I trapped comes right back. So... That's why Leo's a pretty good counter into Geo Gun and why I kept trapping him over anyone else. Well, we're climbing. I started at 1556. So I'm up a little bit. I've been liking this combination into first pick mode long so far. See, this guy is smart. <laughs> he picked Leo Verd together. Anytime you pick Leo and you don't pick him as a last pick, or you don't pick him with Verd, that's that's just dangerous. I think Ganny's good here, like Ganny Oki, because he's got no immunity so far. Ooh, Molly. I don't like Molly at all. Um. Hmm. Should I just go Geo Gun again? I've been having success with Geo Gun. This way I can, like, scroll trap the Leo. Or maybe I... So here I would be able to scroll trap the Molly. And then stun people. I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't ban Leo. I think Molly's the way. <laughs> I can't scroll trap anyone. What am I thinking? <laughs> um, I don't need accuracy lead. Everyone should have high accuracy. Oh, and Ganny's pretty low, but that's okay. Ganny lands stuff anyways. He's got a violent Leo. Let's go ahead and skill three. Should I risk skill two? No, that's too risky. <laughs> yeah, you know, Bird's gonna revenge. We'll do our stuns. It would just be so nice to do skill two defense break into uh, Oki skill three. Let's go on the Leo, I think. Go on Oki. Nana land defense breaks, hopefully. Only on two. That's rough. I think I'll save it. Let's just work on Mo. If we can kill Mo and get another Nana stack, that'd be a good thing. Nice proc. No stuns, please. Only one stun, but I don't care about that stun. Nice proc. <laughs> Alright, there's another Nana stack. More stuns coming my way. 
Let's work on Juno. Yikes. That wasn't the best. I mean, I did land stuff, so that's good. Let's go on to Leo next. I think this is fine while he's glanced. Nice stun. Um, go on the okay, GG. <laughs> he was enough with uh, had enough of Ganny. I meant save the scroll till right before someone dies, and then scroll kill because you lose a lot of bird rotation without the Leo passive. Save the scroll till right before someone dies. Oh, I see. Okay, this is true. Yeah, that's that's actually good thinking. So right before I kill someone then make Nana go away, and then kill them. And that way I don't have to worry about the passive. That's not bad thinking. Um, you can keep that one. Also, if you have a zero speed Bellinus, he rips through the bird. I do not have a Bellinus. I would love to have a Bellinus, but I don't. Closest thing is Rika. Hmm. I'm not sure what to even pick into Riley. I mean, I like Joe Gun here. I don't know if I like Oki, though. Maybe it's just like when in doubt, pick Sira. <laughs> Now, is this the same guy as before, too? Didn't I play something like this? Now I do like Oki. Oki Nana, maybe? Let's try that. I think after this match, I'll take a look at Siege again. Helena. Helena's pretty scary. I think I banned Leo, though. I think that makes sense. We'll try it. I'm surprised he went with Sierra out of everyone there. I guess he likes the AoEs into Riley, and he thought for sure he's going to have Riley. <laughs> Helena Heart. Helena is solid, man. I guess Helena is another close to a uh, Bellinus monster that I have. Um, no will on Vert. That means Vert goes away. Almost got all the ships there. Let's do skill three here. And then I can skill two with, oh, nice. Very nice. Yeah. Now Oki gets to do Oki things. Chianpung violent procs are just so nasty. Let's do skill two. That should be a dead kinky. I'll just do skill one. Nice. 
Nice. Actually stripped the immunity. Man, that's a fat heal. I think we'll do the skill two. Oh, that did not do very well that time. Is Helena have her stuff already? Yeah, damn. All right, hopefully I get to move. If he doesn't stun Oki here, I'm in an okay spot, but if he stuns Oki, this is dangerous. I might not move again. Okay, good. Let's uh, put the defense break back onto you. Make Verd go away. I think we can save our strip since she has got max totems anyways. All right, so maybe stuns. We got one stun. More stuns. Nice. All right. Yeah, GG. That was scary there for a moment, but... 1586, that's a decent climb. That's a 40-point climb. No, 30-point climb. I started at 1556, so 30-point climb. So yellow's digging into our six. Yeah, what just happened? <laughs> I feel like we should still save. Well, we could hit, hitting 11 makes some sense to reconnect. And then we wanna for sure take back six and seven. So what do we have here? Molong Beta Fuki, Molong Iris Fuki, Molong Escher Fuki. Show the Okeanos runes? Sure. He's nothing too crazy. He's like Violent Will. Um, and then just slower than my Chun Pung. Yeah, plus 150. Speed, crit rate, accuracy. So or no, speed, HP, accuracy. So I have a bunch of crit rate from subs. But yeah, he's doesn't have crazy stats by any means. I've had better Okies in the past, but I don't know. He just seems so outclassed. I should probably give him back good runes because I have found myself using him more and more. Let's see, my Chun Pung is plus 168, so I can certainly speed up my Oki to get closer to that. Only problem is my slot 6 accuracy rune. <laughs> I don't have... A bunch of good slot six accuracy runs. Like Jun Pung's got a pretty solid one. The flat stats are nasty, but the speed is super good. But I for sure want him on violent will. And this is what I got for violent options, unfortunately. Nothing special. I was using Ken, but since he isn't fully skilled, Leo's usually survive. Ken is solid. I like Ken. I really like when the Street Fighters came out and hearing all the <laughs> sound animations for the first time. All right. What should we bring into this nonsense? I like Jean Tessariana Lucia into these kind of things. Tofu's, yeah, I was about to say, Tofu's for sure just going to Lucian. I mean, I like Lucian too. The only thing is, if you're not fat enough, they do have the 33 lead. Ashir's got fat HP. Malong's got fat HP. And then they can for sure do win damage reduction. Um, Karkna as the lead should be helpful, though. Here, See, I just talk too much, and then everyone kills them, and I, like, I'm going to go move runes, and I'm, I'm just going to be too slow. <laughs> That's how it goes. All right, so rune manage and then we're going to click on the other lucian right here and apply and then here attack additional damage by attack and sub property there's one there's two 
Kark Fang Light Homie might also have some potential. What is your uh, Light Homie uh, skill path? I like never use the homunculus at all. Well, I say that. I got the the dark one for 2A Hell when I did 2A Hell 30 star for the first time and only time. So I never did it again, but 2A Hell 30 star, the dark homunculus is really, really good there to pair with Ganny. But then I was just like, I'm never going to do that again. <laughs> Too much. You want the fourth one? I was about to clear the tower by myself. I mean, if you can, go ahead, Tofu. I mean, I just moved runes onto my Lucian, but... Was that all you? Yeah, that was all you. People are already hitting. What was that? That was Kashi. And Huawei's hitting. Yeah, I feel you, Edom. It happens to me all the time. All of the time. I'm too slow. I'm like talking about the offense I'm going to bring and moving the runes around and all that. And then I go to hit it and it's like, nope. You don't get a chance. But that's okay. I and mean, I'm glad we're pouncing on it. That's a good thing. So I'll reconnect. I mean, we have a decent shot at second. I feel like I should just save attacks. So they're for sure going to be taking our six. When seven comes, I'm sure they're going to tag three. And we have no idea if Imperial Kings will decide to take our one and two. Like, I don't think these guys are buddy-buddy by any means, but they for sure, if they wanted to, could just take our one and two and we'd be done for. So yellow's got all three of these that they're going to be able to take pretty soon. And then, like, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's still want to get them back in the bonus. But, I mean, it isolates five of us. I guess that's why we need to hit 10. Okay, I didn't see that. So we need to hit 10 to keep us unisolated even when our six falls. So we got, what's his name? Hurtit. Hurtit, Vigor, Triana's. Zingze, Tessarion, Eleanor. That's an interesting one. And then this silliness. Man, the Tyrannus, I was going to say I could do Water Demon, but Tyrannus ruins it. I can't do Water Demon into Tyrannus. What do I bring here? How's his passive work? Beneficial effects. When you're granted with beneficial effects, gains three when an enemy gets defeated. Okay, so it's like Bulwarks. It's not like, or I mean, it's like Baylicker. It's not like Bulwarks. So could I use uh, Bulwark Amelia Molong here? Or is that scary? <laughs> I think this is fine. I kill Triana first and then kill him immediately after. And then I should be okay. I think that's fine. Though my Molong is no longer on Vampire. That's a problem. I want him on Vampire. I'm building a second Molong. I have a... I just switched to running Molong on defense. That's why he's on despair instead of my typical vampire set. And I'm building a second Bulwark in Molong to pair with the Ilea. Since she's basically a second Amelia, almost. So then I'll have like two sets of that team. Um, protect S2 after buff, team up with skill 3. You team up with Fuki and then auto. Oh, you're talking about, okay, Light Homunculus. Protect skill 2, attack, team up, skill 3, and then team up into Fuki and then auto. Okay. That sounds solid. So I need to go back onto Vampire build. Otherwise, it's going to be scary. Um, well. Cool. 
we can do this one. Who is my other one here? I don't know. We can take that. That's fine. I don't know if that's my typical build. I feel like I'm tankier than normal, but that's okay. All right, so that's a dead Triana. And then slowly but surely kill this guy. Nice freeze. Nice steal there. Maybe we can get stuns. Nope. Uh, let's freeze bigger. Nope. Nice freeze. We'll do defense buff. Steal. Nice. Stun. Up plus seven now. Done? Nope. I think we're okay. Unless Vigor just solos at this point with uh, everyone having no runes. I'm <laughs> hitting for 10. Goodness. Um, let's just skill one, hopefully freeze. Goodness. Come on, Molong, hang in there. Yeah, keep hitting Amelia. That's good. All right. GG to one of the Hurts hits. Where's our other target? Oh, nine, okay. Fran Kakisuki. That's probably solid into Artemil, I would think. Um, this could potentially be fine. My fear with Odin is that doesn't he take attack power? So if he targets Odin, of your attack power and defense per knowledge. So like if he steals all of Odin's attack power, then like Odin deals no damage and then you can't win. So that's my fear with this team. Uh, good news is you have Fran. So I think, I mean, I don't know what his AI is like if it happens to just choose whoever. Um, Cause I typically, I mean, I at least I haven't been bringing a light monster to tank him. Though I think I've heard that. You bring like the light golem to tank him since he needs five hits to die anyways. But anyways, I can try that if Spoon doesn't make it. But I'm rooting for you, Spoon. <laughs> Too many procs, Tofu? That's unfortunate. Um, 
Let's see. What could I try? I could try Tessarion. Yeah. That's Rough Spoon. Trying again, Tofu. Look at you. See, this is what I was t telling Coco. I think you want to use Riley just like you would use Fran. Sierra, Fran, Cyan. I mean, that's a team I'm sure I've seen Tofu use before. So you just use Riley anytime you would use Fran as far as guild and siege offense. This looks like a solid build. 99 res, nice. Yeah, guys, my 10-0 streak is still possible at this point. I'm 5-0. I'm down to try this hurts it. I'm also down to try the Artemil, though I think uh, that's probably a safer team. Well, I don't because Amarna can cleanse everything, so that's a little dangerous. He just cleanses all the bombs. But I feel like Sierra, with all of her uh, cycling, should be okay. Yeah, good job, Tofu. I'm down to try Light Golem, though I feel like I'm going to ruin him up and someone will beat me to it. <laughs> As it happens. There he is. Just go defense. Crit rate. Wait, does he have... I know he stuns. Is there a thing? Unleash the shockwave. 25% chance to stun. Just according to defense. Okay. I didn't know if it was like if he had a 100 crit rate, it's a guaranteed stun or something. Sure. <laughs> Haven't used copper in ages. Oh, wait. That was supposed to be defense. But that's okay. I think we took a fine rune anyways. Maybe I should get speed here. I can leave Copper's Rune alone. Keep Paul happy. <laughs> That's not bad. Maybe I go Revenge for extra stun chance. Um, just find skill one accuracy, I think. Let's do that one. Anyone has a comp in mind with Oliver? I don't even know who Oliver is. Is Oliver the wind surfer or something? Let's see. Uh, here. Yeah, it is. Okay. Oliver, what does he do? Attacks the enemy, increase the target's skill cooldown by one turn, absorbs the attack bar by 50%, and addition decreases your skill cooldown. Oh, I remember reading this. Okay. That's an enemy by 20% each. I don't know. I feel like you could come up with some kind of interesting guild offense with him. I don't know if he's particularly viable in RTA. I've never seen him in RTA. Now, his water friend, Miles, I've seen a lot in RTA. All right, so we have Light Dude. Do I have Double Rock? I don't have Double Rock. I wish I had Double Rock. Seems no scaling damage, solid versus hurt hit. HP damage, okay. Seems HP scaling damage, solid versus hurt hit. 
Yeah, I mean, I would certainly, if I had my Molong six starred and skilled up, ready to use, I would do Bulwark Molong and Ilea. But I'm working towards that. I've been saving them in storage for a while, hoping for a second Amelia to build, but she kind of fits the role. Just sent the replay. I'm just having some bad RNG. That's rough. Um, I'll watch the replay, but I feel like I should try it first. I wonder... I mean, I could try Lucianing with Frigate. That seems risky. I've tried Lucianing with Mirren before and have lost to this team. I mean, people just have really thick shield sets and stack a crap ton of HP on this team. I think I do this guy in like double wind. You could do like Sierra and Chasun, maybe. Only thing I'm afraid of here is like, I don't know Hertz's AI. Because if he's stealing attack and defense from these two, I just lose straight up. But if he focuses him, then I have a decent shot. So I'm down to try it. Vigor Hertz it might clap Golem. Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> um, I think I'll save the bomb since she'll probably put up immunity. She did not put up immunity. Um, does he instantly... No, additionally, your attack bar increases by 50%. Let's just try and stun Triana. Aw, big rips. All right. There's one bomb. All right, so he did steal it from Gollum. That's fine. Let's uh, let's just do this. Stun Triana? Nope. Um. Yeah, I feel like I need a bomb to cycle. Maybe we can get a dot and deal a little damage. Yikes. No. Let's guarantee our crits. Oh, that's a rough final proc. That's GG. Man. If I landed my two bombs that I missed on Triana, and if that proc didn't happen, I would have had a better shot, but it is what it is. Rip Tenno. I got no chance at this point. I mean, I say no chance. The only reason I'm still playing is what if Sierra just solos, like just takes 42 turns in a row. <laughs> Let's put the bomb over here. It's like no damage. Jeez, ah. I said it was no damage. The bomb hit hard. All right. Skill three, triple hit. Yeah. Yeah, when he procced into it, that was... That was rough. That's a nasty team. Um, what else can I do? I think it was Nico that told me bring Light Golem into it, if I recall correctly. Let's see. No, not Bailey. <laughs> All right, next siege for sure need that Mo Long ruined up. Though I say that I don't have devils for him, so no real point. Tesserion Ritesh Praha. 
I do like Tessarion. I don't know if I like Ritesh or Praha, though. I mean, I, Praha's okay. You lost your Tino today to Tian Lang. Yeah, Tian Lang's nasty, too. What about Jean? I should just do my my Jean to Sariana Lucy, I think. I think my Tessa isn't ruined though. Cause with Jean, if I provoke him, then he can't do his little stealing thing. And then Elucia can also sleep him, so I have like double control on him that way. And then Tessarion can work on. What's up, Sean? <laughs> Sean's over here, like, hey, why haven't you edited my video? <laughs> um, where am I going? I think I need to go on the other one. Hope you're having a good day, Sean. Let's go here. And equipped, yes. I wish you could do that thing with runes on artifacts also, so I don't have to go and search for them. That would be nice. All right, let's do this. So we have Tessarion. We have either one of my Lucias and then Jean. I think this should work. Where is Jean number two? Probably out here. Yeah. All right, let's try it. Oh, Spoon, you're too kind. Yeah, this is my parents' office behind me, Sean. Like, behind me is a bunch of old TVs and VCRs. That's where I do a lot of the, the transferring and that kind of thing. Today, I was... I mean, I still haven't fixed it. We have a VHS-C tape, which is a VHS, but it's, like, tiny. It's a really small VHS. That's the case it goes in. And... uh it's all just beat up. They brought it in for repair, and I mean, I can, I'm sure I can get it playing, but it's gonna be nasty. It's not gonna look very good. Wait, you can spark? Switch to artifact selection screen, change monster, and voila. I did not know that if you can do that. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know about the runes thing until someone pointed it out to me pretty recently. Uh, let's just keep working on you. Man, they're high res. I'm getting procs, which is nice. Stun? No stun. Stun? <laughs> getting lots of procs, but things aren't landing. All right, Jean's about to get wrecked. Yikes. <laughs> Invincibility? Oh, I'm just gonna get stolen, right? Oh, I should put it on Vigor, go for him. Oh no, Vigor goes for Tessa, my mistake. Oh goodness. <laughs> the entire room would sell for so much in 50 years, honestly. I mean, we do have old equipment that isn't made anymore and I'm sure is pretty valuable. But the only thing with that is like you need to find someone actually willing to buy it. And I don't think there's a lot of people out there that want any of this stuff. All right, this is not working. It's got to be 100 res Triana, I think. Let's try to keep him oblivion while we work on the Triana. I think that's what I need to do. All right, I just need to lose. That's what I need to do. <laughs> God. <laughs> All right. 
well, maybe, maybe we just go for Lucian. Or what about like Odin, Bastet, Kali? If I can one shot the Triana and then immediately one shot the Hurtit, I kind of like that. We can put the Bastet on like triple fight or something. I don't know if I can get the speed on triple fight. Um, so here's this. My fight runes are so garbage. Like, why would anyone farm the Rift dungeon? They have, like, no incentive to farm. How fast am I like this? I'm so slow. All right, we can do double fight. Triana is thick. My Odin didn't get her. Do I have any twins left? I mean, yeah, I haven't used any twins. Wouldn't Vigor outspeed and skill too? Not necessarily. Actually, if I'm ruined like this, yeah, he would. I probably need to go swift fight. Good thinking. And if how uh how thick is your Odin spoon? We can compare Odin's. <laughs> Oh, Tofu's trying. We can see what Tofu's attempting it with. Martina Shayna. I feel like Martina Shayna should be able to do it. I mean, I say that they were resisting like mad, so if he gets resisted a ton, then that's a problem. Like, if he doesn't land any stuns or strips, and then... This guy just starts ticking away at all of his stats. No Mo Long stole my 10. I mean, honestly, if I had my my second Mo Long, I would still be in a better shot at 10 now. That hurts hit just so OP. Nice job, Tofu. All right, well, we're in pretty good spot for second, I think. I think Imperial Kings for sure gets first. But I should probably save the rest of my attacks in case these get taken. I mean, seven is an okay one to hit. Plus 1882 attack, 88 crit rate, 188 crit damage with some okay artifacts. I feel like that's quite a bit thicker than mine. <laughs> I don't think my Odin is that thick. Ah. Let's see. So you have more crit damage, significantly more attack. And if, yeah, so if you can one shot the Triana, I have no shot whatsoever. I have like garbage artifacts too. So that would have been a loss. Well, I said I, I would go until midnight, and it's midnight 15, and then I would go edit for Sean B. And seeing him in my chat, I feel like he's like, yo, Ben, where's my video? I mean, he's not saying it, but that's like what I'm thinking he's doing. <laughs> so I think I'll call it a night and uh, get to editing. But thanks for coming out. I'll use my three attacks per mo tomorrow, probably off stream. He's on a shield will build. I like violent will just because the extra 22% can come in clutch. But I mean, I can't, can't diss those stats. Plus 1882 with 188 crit damage is a fat hitting Odin for sure. But anyways, y'all have a good night. Thanks for coming out.